In this video, I will show you how to import an ePlan macro. Uh, for example, the one that we created in the previous video. At the beginning, we need to add a component to our project. For this, we will go to the reuse library and we will uh, select the motor. Uh, we will do right click and uh, click add to project. Here, uh, we should select the aspects where uh, this component should be shown. And from here, we should select the location of this component. By default, we will uh, not select anything. We will just press OK. And uh, we have here by default, the uh, component is unassigned. And we have the two digital output channels for this, for this motor band. Uh, and each channel has its own tag. We need to change the tag name. So for this, we will do a double click on the tag. And uh, here we have the properties of this tag. Uh, we will go to the name property and we will change the name to uh, signal training like this. And then click OK. We will go to the other uh, digital output tag. And we will uh, also change the name to Signal Training 1. Like this. And click OK. Now we have the tag name is changed in all the aspects, like as shown. So now we still have the channels uh, are still unassigned. So we need to, ass to assign these channels to the proper uh, PLC module or digital output module. So we will go simply to the to the PLC system, and now we have all the I/O uh, digital and analog modules. We will simply drag and drop uh, all the channels from the unassigned place to the proper um, digital output module like this. And now we will go to the next uh, digital output channel, and we will just simply drag and drop it into the digital output module of the PLC system like this. And now we have them assigned to the, our uh, PLC system. Now we will go to the function aspect and uh, assign the motor band to the sorting plant system like this. And now we need to uh, assign uh, implant macro to this component. For this, we will go to the collaboration tab. Uh, but at the beginning, we need uh, the first step is to import the project template. For this, we will click on Import Project Template. And here we uh, uh, should select the project template that we created in the previous uh, video, which the name was training, the ZW9. And then we will click uh, Import Template File. We will wait for a couple of seconds. And uh, for this version of um, Automation Designer, uh, we can only use ePlan version 2.6.3. Uh, as we tried uh, 2.7, but it didn't work. So you have to stick to this version. We need to have a page macro for each component of the system. Um, so as previously, uh, we created uh, a page macro for the digital input and uh, digital output separately. So in this case, we only have two digital output, uh, output channels in the uh, motor band. So we need to import uh, digital output ePlan macro. For this, we will go press on import macro, and then we have to select the uh, DQ circuit diagram page macro and then press OK and then simply uh, import ePlan macro like this. Now we have the uh, ePlan macro for the digital output module and apart from this uh, ePlan macro or page macro we need simple macro for um, uh, power line, sensor, uh, terminal and uh, the PLC channel. So for this, we will go to the directory and select the power line like this and then click import. Um, as shown here, uh, we put the page macro and the power supply line uh, macro outside uh, the channels. 
but for the uh, circuit diagram of the PLC channels, it should be uh, put inside the channel itself. So in this case, we have to choose first the name of the channel and then click import like this. So now we have the channel circuit diagram inside the channel itself. And also we need to add the other uh, macros of the uh, terminal and uh, cable diagram and also the sensor. So we need to include all of them uh, inside the channel like this. And at the end, we need to add the sensor, but we named it here as motor, so the same thing. Now we need to link uh, page macros to the other macros and uh, also the macros themselves together. Uh, and we do this through something called a ports manager. And uh, for this, we uh, do simply uh, right click on the macro itself and select ports manager. And as you can see here, we have all the possible um, connections uh, that we can do. Uh, but we first we need to connect the page macro to the um, uh, the other macros. For this, we do right click on the page macro itself and select Force Manager. And as you can see here, we have all the sockets that we already created in the page macro and implant to get um, before in the previous video. And uh, here, uh, for example, we will connect the power line to the um, uh, power line macro to to the um, page macro uh, by doing this manual connection like this and then simply select the uh, power supply line uh, macro and now we have the connection is established and next we want to connect the page macro to the uh, digital channel digital output channel circuit diagram macro uh, we will uh, select the plc1 uh, port name and then manual selection and then uh, simply select the digital output channel circuit diagram like this and then click OK and now we have the two connections are already established and now we want to connect the digital uh, output channel uh, circuit diagram macro to the other macros so we will open the ports manager and then we have all the connections and all the sockets we need to find a plug for it um, now we will do the manual connection and we will select the terminal macro for the terminal connection or the terminal socket and now we have the plug for the ter terminal uh, socket and we will do the same for the cable and the field device which is a sensor and now we have each plug for each socket and now we have all the connections are established so until now we have uh all the macros are already connected to each other and uh, page macros connected to its components and the next step now is to change some properties of these macros so for the uh, full page name uh, property of the page macro um, we need to specify two important um, properties which uh, are the higher level function and uh, mounting location properties we need to grab these values of these properties from the project itself so for uh, for this, we will, uh, for the higher level function, we will use the expression formula like this, and we will select a reference and then object attribute, and we will go to the product aspect and we will select the uh, PLC system like this. So now we have all the properties of this PLC component, and we want to get the value of the property and the name of the PLC station. So as you can see here, we have the PLC station uh, attribute. We'll click like this. And then for the mounting location as well, we will do the same. Uh, we will go to the expression formula and then uh, we will um, grab this uh, information from uh, as an object attribute. And uh, hence we have to select the object itself from the location aspect. 
So um, we will select uh, from the location aspect um, the location of the um, of the motor band itself, which is BB. So we from the properties we will select as well the object name, which is in this case BB, and then click yes. And as you can see here, we have the full page name is constructed according to this or uh, this uh, object's attributes that I got from the uh, project itself. Um, and also for the page name, we will put it as 100. And accordingly, the other pages will take this number and adds up uh, Slack counter uh, automatically. So we will put it as 100 um, for this equipment. And then we need to um, edit uh, the properties and the necessary properties of the other page macro, uh, macros, um, like for example the motor or the, uh, the sensor uh, macro. Uh, we need to. Um, the most important thing here is the variable name, and the variable name is the name of the variable that we are already created in the ePlan project or ePlan um, macro. Um, as a placeholder for the um, name of the object and the connection point. So we will put uh, the name of the motor as M03, and the variable name property, and then click apply and then click OK. And now we are done for uh, the motor um, macro. And then we will go to the um, terminal uh, macro to change the necessary uh, properties. We will uh, change only variable uh, connection number. We will put it as 100. It's an, an, an arbitrary number. Like this. And then we will uh, change the variable direction to, uh, we will put it as zero. And then uh, the terminal strip name connection number, we'll put it as XT double dot 100. It's a naming convention for the um, components of electrical panels. You should refer to this uh, to read about this. And then simply click OK. So now we are done for the uh, macros here. And uh, remember that we you, you have to do the same for the other uh, component for each component you should specify the values of these uh, properties so now we can uh, generate the uh, ePlan project to test what we have done and we for this we simply go uh, and, and, and uh, click generate project and then uh, here down there we can select to open the ePlan um, after uh, the generation of the project and then simply click generate ePlan. It takes some time. Now we have the ePlan project is generated and we have to check the hierarchy. We have SP1 and PP and then PP and then 100 the page name and inside the page we have all the components the cable the power line the motor and the plc channel thank you